Hello guys, welcome to our channel Speaking Books. We will be continuing the discussion of the book Think and Grow Rich. So far we have discussed that thoughts are things and we bring them into physical form. It starts with us having a desire. Now in this chapter Mr. Hill tells us the method or recipe of organized planning. It began with the instructions given in chapter 2 in fourth step. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once whether you are ready or not to put this plan into action. This step is the organized planning. Mr. Hill's recipe is take desire the first step toward reaches and hand it over to your imagination which is fifth step toward reaches the workshop of the mind. To create plans to reach the desire, take the plan and create a mastermind that is appropriately motivated and that meets frequently to work on the plan. Mr. Hill says that all the steps that are discussed in second chapter are the most important to reach the goal of the plan. You must work with others that are interested in seeing the plan come to fruition. Your mastermind group need not to be large. It could be one other person. The point is that together you create a third collective mind that is capable of troubleshooting the plan. If and when you come upon failure or temporary defeat, the plans should be examined and reworked with the mastermind. Persistence should be applied to power faith in the desire and use the recipe in fourth step again. Repeat as we read and never give up. Thus, the steps in second chapter ultimately craft the auto-suggestion and the reason for the mastermind to be. Some people foolishly believe that only money can make money. This is not true. Desire transmuted into its monetary equivalent through the principle laid down here is the agency through which money is made. Money itself is nothing but inert matter. It cannot move, think or talk but it can hear when a man who desires it calls it to come. There is but one dependable method of accumulating and legally holding reaches and that is by rendering useful service. No system has ever been created by which man can legally acquire reaches through mere forces of numbers or without giving in return an equivalent value of one form or another. Your value is established entirely by your ability to render useful service or your capacity to induce others to render such service. Mr. Hill focus on teamwork. He says together we are the mastermind working to grow reach not only in money but personally. The founding anchor is that in order to create more in your life you must become more than you are right now. Mr. Hill instructs us that this step is absolutely essential in any undertaking. Meeting and working with this group of people is beyond words. We each transform before our own eyes as these practical plans are acted upon. This is the true heart of philosophy to me. We are the mastermind alliance. Individually, we may experience a defeat, but together we are the mastermind. The support of the others bring us the individual back on track with new better plans and more faith in themselves than before. Everyone in the mastermind has worked and organized with each other in the planning and to see one quit when the light of winning is so close magically brings energy your way to keep you inspired. But to gather such group of people to create a mastermind, a good leader is needed. Leader is the person who shows the way. Employer must intelligently follow his employees and learn what they know to do. Mr. Hill gives us a short list of some of the important factors of leadership. I include an excerpt of them here. Unwavering courage, self-control, a keen sense of justice, definiteness of decision, definiteness of plans, the 
habit of doing more than paid for a pleasing personality sympathy and understanding mystery of detail willingness to assume full responsibility cooperation being an employee or an employer should no longer be look at like someone in charge versus an underlining truly for the betterment of the all involved it should be recognized as the mastermind it is another aspect of being a leader is what mr hill calls you as qqs rating simply this is the quality quantity and spirit of service you render the most important thing is to remember it it will become a habit and you will do naturally eventually don't forget to apply the qqs to yourself and family too this is a way to get life to give you what you expect from it every day take care of yourself and your family in quality manner the best you can master at the time everyone will appreciate it and respond in kind it's the law of reciprocity always bend over backwards and do all that you can and keep the energy of positive emotion backing your spirits of action this will attract those same emotions from those you serve try it it's magical but how do we create faultless plants mr hill has prevented us with a detailed explanation of how to market our personal services guidelines on leadership by first being an intelligent follower the qqs rating the 31 main reasons of why we should fail as you go over the list check yourself by it point by point for the purpose of discovering how many of this cause of fail stand by first unfavorable hereditary background second lack of well defined purpose in life third lack of ambition to aim above mediocrity fourth insufficient education fifth lack of self discipline sixth ill health seven unfavorable environmental influences during childhood eight procrastination ninth lack of persistence tenth negative personality eleven lack of control sexual urge twelfth uncontrolled desire for something for nothing thirteen lack of well defined power of decision fourteen one or more of the six basic fears 15 wrong selection of mate in marriage 16 over caution 17 wrong selection of associate in misses 18 superstition and prejudice 19 wrong selection of a vocation 20 lack of concentration of effort 21 the habit of indiscriminate spending 22 lack of enthusiasm 23 intolerance 24th intemperance 25th inability to cooperate with others 26th possession of power that was not acquired through self effort 27th intentional dishonesty 28th egotism and vanity 29th guessing instead of thinking 30 lack of capital 31 any particular cause of failure you have suffered this are the tragedies of life so many of us have tried to achieve and met failure because one or more of these conditions this list now allows us to understand why this past failures occurred and now begin to grow past them between you and success Thank you all. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Please share your feedback in the comment section. Goodbye. Have a great day.